Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we're just gonna give you a quick little update on the yellow tee. So, my buddy Spencer that uh, bought the car off of me, I've been kind of helping him with the car. Uh, he's just been working on bits and pieces here and there. We haven't been able to film a ton, uh, just because of how sporadic it is when we work on it. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys a little update, show where the car's at, show some of the stuff that I helped him make, and what we did to kind of get it sitting, how it's sitting. Uh, hopefully some of these little, uh, Things will show you guys or give you an idea when you guys are trying to build a car like this. Uh, we got a lot of interest with some of this more, uh, I don't want to say basic, but more of a early basic style hot rod that doesn't have a frame that's cut up as crazy as some of the stuff that I, I'm doing on other parts of the channel. So uh, what Spencer decided to do in the front to basically save some money was he wanted to uh, get the front end sitting pretty low, but he didn't want to spend the money to, uh, to buy an expensive drop axle. Uh, so we went on the side of my shop, found uh, a Model A axle that I had sitting around, and we basically uh, grabbed that out, broke it all apart, um, and the parts that we actually kept were the front wishbones. Uh, so we split the wishbones, cut them right at the welds where the ball yoke section comes together. We cut those. Uh, that allowed us to get the maximum length out of the wishbones, which is really important. Try and get those wishbones nice and long so it'll add stability. Uh, so we kept the Model A wishbones. We swapped out the, um, uh, the, I'm sorry, we kept the wishbones and the spring perches because we're using a Model A style spring. Uh, we then took a set of earlier uh, 3940 roundback spindles uh, because these spindles will jive with using the uh, later drums that are made for these 40 Ford style uh, steel wheels. So we have like 42 to 48 drums on there. We have 39, uh, 40 spindles on there. That's going to allow us to actually use uh, the backing plates and everything without any modification. You can use Model A front spindles, but you need to do a little bit of modification to the juice brake uh, backing plates. So we have those on there. Um, what we did for the front uh, suicide mount was we actually took a piece of a quarter inch plate and we put that in my press brake and I basically took out the knife edge part of the press brake for the top die and we put in a piece of round bar stock, a uh, real heavy round bar stock and we put that in, pressed it down into the groove and that actually gave us a rounded shape that actually rolls under this front cross member that we put in. So the front uh, cross member is a big piece of round tubing. We put that same curve in this plate and what that does, it allows it to roll underneath of the tubing uh, to give us some, some area to weld around the front. And then we're gonna actually um, put some ribs across the top. So once we rolled it around the bottom, we then put the, uh, the top back in the press brake, the normal knife edge, bent a 90 into it or just under a 90. And uh, that allowed us to have our, our flat area for the spring to mount. And then uh, we took a thicker piece, I think it's like half inch plate, and we drilled and tapped that for the, the bottom to sandwich the, uh, the spring mount. So we have the spring all mounted. We don't have our back uh, braces welded into it yet. Uh, we have a piece here that Spencer drew uh, or made for his pattern, uh, but it's basically gonna have little, little pieces for a spine that will go around on the top and that will brace everything so that our top bend can't come open and that'll, those will also be made of quarter inch plate. So doing all that will be plenty strong, especially on a car that's this light. We're just putting a flathead V8 in it so it's not a big deal uh, with going overboard. So uh, with having these welded in and welding all the way around on the bottom, across the back side, we'll have tons of weld, tons of strength into this. We shouldn't have any issue at all with the suicide front mound there. Uh, so that's the front section. What we ended up doing in the back, just to save some time, because uh, Spencer doesn't have uh, as much time to, to dedicate to this car like I do on some of my stuff, so we are kind of mixing what we can buy, what we can use. So uh, Spencer went ahead and bought a set of these uh, split wishbone plates and tie rod bung kit from uh, Speedway. And basically the reason for that was it just saved him time of cutting and grinding and making these plates. Now I have all the tools. If you have a tie, a tie rod taper um, reamer, you can, you can do this while the bung in, ream it out to have the tapered uh, hole in it. But he didn't have uh, the time to deal with that. So he ordered a cheap set of these plates. We matched them up uh, with the length of the wishbones, made sure the wishbones were the same exact length. 
put the bung in there. Uh, the nice thing about those bungs are they fit right in. Uh, pretty snug. If you cut the wishbone and sand it and file it, you can get it to fit in snug, bevel everything. I tacked it all in place. We have the tie rods mounting, and the car is uh, is actually rolling, which is a huge, huge step here. So we have the front end all kind of sorted out. In the back, for anybody that missed it, for mounting the body on the Model A frame, it's actually really simple. Uh, so the rear most holes in the cross member actually line up pretty much dead perfect with the uh, with the outer holes in the sub rails on the body. So we set that down over, made sure everything was centered, and we actually those two holes kind of just were perfect. And we put bolts down through that. We're going to put some padding in between the frame and the body when the time comes to do final assembly. Uh, but those holes lined up. Then in the front, all we had to do is just make two little simple, uh, just half round. Uh, plates for a frame mount uh, that we welded onto the front of the frame that lined up with the holes on the body and we have the body all attached. So those were super simple if you need to mock, uh, mock up or mount a 2627T body on a Model A frame it's literally that easy is um, matching up the rear holes uh, with a cross member and in front making two little tabs that line up with the holes that are already there uh, drill and tab or drill and uh, make all those holes jive. You can put a bolt down through and you have the body mounted. It's pretty simple. So now that we have all this stuff done, the next thing we need to do is make engine mounts for this thing. So I'm going to help him uh, make up some engine mounts really quick for the car. And we're going to get the car with the engine and trans slid in here centered up, get that mounted in place so that that's where it needs to be. And then we're going to mount up the steering box. So I think we're going to use a F1 steering box and just modify it to fit the Model A frame. Uh, that's something that I don't think we've shown in a video yet, so that should be a good one. If you guys are trying to put uh, what's going to feel like power steering into a Model A using a, a 48 to 52 F1 steering box, um, will work just fine. And uh, it makes it feel like it has power steering because of the just some changes in the, in the box makes it so much nicer. And it will feel like you have power steering on a Model A. So, we're gonna get the engine in, get the steering box mounted. Uh, when we do some of that stuff, we will slow down and take you know, a little more video of that. I apologize we haven't been doing real in-depth updates on this car, but uh, in between juggling everything with the free T, uh, Spencer coming over to work on it whenever he can get time. We haven't done a ton of updates, but I wanted to show you guys the kind of where the car's at and some of the shots of how we got everything sitting, how it is, and uh, we're moving right along on this thing. It should be a pretty kind of straightforward uh, assembly process and uh, yeah so if you guys there's anything along the way that you guys think you would really like to see I'll try and make sure we get at least the shots of it when we're working on this like the steering box doing the engine mount some of that stuff uh, definitely let us know drop us a line in the comments and uh, we will do our best to shoot that so that's all we have for this one I appreciate you guys uh, viewing the check-in on the yellow tee uh, as always we do videos on Tuesdays Fridays and Sundays uh, if you haven't definitely uh, drop us uh, a line and hit the subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. Thanks guys. Catch you later.